Hey everybody, just wanted to wish you all a happy new year. I'm definitely wishing this a little bit la uh, late because the first week of this year, 2021, has been quite busy. I wanted to really just update you on what has been, what is going on right now, what's gonna perhaps happen during this year and also just reflect back on what happened in two, uh, 2020 because this was of course for basically all people it was a crazy year and for us especially it was most, the most hectic year I've ever had in my life. Like right now um, I'm, in, I'm in Dubai and this first week, as I said, it's been busy. I've been trying to look for an apartment here because we're gonna be staying here for a while. I wanna find a good place. And the goal is really that to be able to settle down here for, for now for some time. Because going back now to last year, it was just crazy traveling nonstop all the time. It was the most busiest, same, at the same time, the most productive year that we've ever had. But it really was like from, from the very, beginning of January until December, Christmas, it was basically filming a course, preparing the course, launching the course. And that is what it was from the beginning of the year to the end. So it was, well, we started, you know, in the January already with the morning routine, 20XX. <coughs> this was the start for the year. It was kind of a start for us. It was just a very fitting thing to do because it just has these habits that you can do uh, in the start of the year to improve your life, to start uh, wake up better and so on and become healthier. So this was really the start for the year. But after this, basically the whole year was mostly themed uh, around Qigong and Kung Fu. As you may have noticed from the, <laughs> from the videos that we have put, uh, put out on this channel, and the simple reason was this was that we actually were twice in Taiwan during 2020. So I still have a hard time sometimes believing that we actually were, the, even in the beginning of the year, we were in Taiwan. But we were, uh, after the morning routine, we just took our flight to Taiwan and started to film our first course. This was the Health and Fighting Qigong. So we put out in total three different courses with the Master Jiang Yushan this year, uh, 2020. So we had the Health and Fighting Qigong, we had the internal and external Kung Fu, and then we had the Monkey Fist Store 24 Warrior Qigong set. That's a long name to remember, to remember. But those were the three courses that we put up with the master, and these are all massive courses, so they really, it took all, most of our time to really prepare them. There were also two other courses that I'm not gonna talk too much about now that we even film and prepare uh, or just filmed but we didn't have time to put them out because simply uh, the whole year was so booked just traveling making these courses training and learning and non-stop the whole year and it was important phase it was really important to go through this especially because the qigong the stuff that we learned it was so crucial or amazing and uh, it gave you know with the master like I understand not even that many people uh, like Qigong or Kung Fu, it doesn't, it isn't that interesting. Kung Fu may be more to more people, especially Qigong, you might hear it and be like, well, what's the benefit? What's that going to do? And you know, what, what is it really even about? And even when I've heard like first about Qigong, I really, I just didn't think, uh, see it that useful personally. And it was only after I met with the master Jiang Yushan there in Taiwan that I really realized, wow, because we got this like a straight window into that sort of ancient lost world through this master. And this was unbelievably amazing and gave so much different uh, uh, techniques and methods and principles to take care of the health. And this is what has been our passion now for years. So get to get this sort of opportunity, you know, it was it was unbelievably amazing and putting a whole year mostly on that. It was uh, it just felt like it had to be done, although it was rough, there was uh, tough trips, long trips uh, to Taiwan and all the preparing and so on. But if we felt that this kind of information you know, needed to get out there to a broader public. So that, as I said, was really uh, the big theme of the, of the 2020. Of course, there were other things. We were also in Russia, we were supposed to be the three months, uh, but we ended up being maybe one month and a half. Uh, we were tra there training the MMA and wrestling with the Russians. This was a great, great time. And uh, it was really funny because in Russia, the well, when we were in Russia, when you look at like what the other countries are doing there, everyone is like having these strict measures because of Corona. Um, 
lockdowns and, and so on. And in Russia, everything is just going on normally. <laughs> Nobody cares. And then suddenly, chip, they put on the restrictions and our training stops. And well, would you know, we were there kind of stuck for a while, but it was a great chance for us to prepare the health and fighting chick. And we just put all our focus on that. And finally, we managed to get the bus ride back to Finland. And again, the year, the year goes forward from there. So right now, uh, so yeah, the second time in Taiwan, we also were during this year in Lithuania, we were in Croatia, enjoying the sun, we visited some other uh, cities in Finland like Turku. So living all over and just doing what we do all the time, preparing again the courses and, and so on. And there was also the other time, the second time that we went to Taiwan, this time we went to film the internal and external Kung Fu and the Monkey Chi Kong set. These were the last two courses of this year uh, again and this trip went really well despite there being some difficulties again because of the COVID. You know, first of all, you shouldn't be able to even go to Taiwan, but we managed to get that special permit uh, entry, special entry permission. <laughs> I don't know what it was called anymore to, to go there and film these courses. So I'm very happy about that because we're not really sure when we can go even back to Taiwan now that the situation is going on. But after Taiwan, we flew straight here into Dubai. So we were thinking, we had been thinking about going to Dubai for a while. It seemed like a good option perhaps to leave for a longer term. And we wanted to come here to see it out, how it is here so, and see if it's really a livable place anyway. And while we were here also for that over a month, we were preparing these uh, Qigong and Kung Fu courses, living here and see, uh, seeing it out. And after that, we decided to go to Christmas, uh, spend the Christmas in Finland. So we flew back to Finland to our parents and uh, to, cheat, to spend time with the family. I was very actually uh, lucky that I got to go there to my home uh, and see, our, see my parents, my brother and sister and our dogs as well, because I just heard that the other one of our family dogs passed away. A very old dog, like 15 years old, Jack Russell Terrier. It was a uh, just spent, I lived like many years with a dog, although I now haven't been in home a lot during this past year. So I was very, felt good to uh, see that dog for the last last times there, last moments in the, during the Christmas. But so after Christmas, we have already seen that the Dubai was a nice place to be. So we head back here and now we are going to supposed to stay at least this next year here, who knows, perhaps even longer and just live here. And the idea is really, as I said, perhaps in the beginning of the video, that to settle down a little bit because last year was just complete here and there traveling and just didn't have time for, for much anything else during the process of creating those courses. So now it's time to make this a base, be able to focus on what we really want to do this time, which is create content for you guys, something helpful material we have still like a lot of training stuff that we haven't shared methods that we haven't put out and this is all something that that we really want to focus on during this year uh, the most and but the, yeah i would say you know 2021 it's still definitely going to be an ad adventurous year even if we would stay more still there's so much plans and i just get this feeling that this gonna something's gonna happen during this year as well but for me i, I really want to also you know, I want to keep you some tips to start get started during this year, perhaps offer some help. Uh, there's something that must help and get you started better or give you a better start for the year because 2020, you know, with all the, the, the mess that was there, it was already tough and it's basically like regards to training and helping people to train because this is what we have been doing now for a long time. I felt like this became very, very crucial to being able to maintain and build a strong body, a, a strong physique and healthy physique to withstand these sort of tough times. This became very crucial. And even now that we go to 221, we don't really know when the situation is even going to change. So we need to stay strong. This is what I always say in the end of the video, and, but I really mean it, stay strong. And this has become very, very important during these times to keep yourself healthy. And it's not only, it's not only that, it can make a whole, uh, it can have such a tremendous effect on your life, having just a better functioning body. It can change your thinking, 
can change your attitude, your confidence, and this can lead and spread out to different areas of, of your life. And we got a really amazing example of this in one of our comment that was in our private Facebook group. He's a member of our training programs. And this guy said basically that 2020 was the best year of his life. And it was mostly based on this text. It was just due to him improving his body in multiple uh, different basic levels. He was just, first of all, able to do more with his body, certain like movement skills, common walk, strength moves. Uh, single leg windmills kind of stuff that is in the movement to next X and on top of that he managed to fix his hip pain and then there was this one really funny thing that I think most people would never even consider to be a benefit from training and this is to be able to sit on the floor so you wouldn't necessarily think that would be even a goal from from training to be able to sit better but that is something that can actually happen from when you're doing good training and this is something that can actually limit some people the older you go and the more or the less you do with your body the more you kind of just stay still sitting around the more your body is going to degenerate and you will lose these things that you you thought were you know there like self or that you take took for granted perhaps but these are things that we can lose we can lose suddenly we go on in, in our life and suddenly something happens a big pain appears a tightness appears and then we're there stuck and we don't really perhaps even know what happened but this has been accumulating over the years just because of the neglecting neglecting our body or perhaps doing too hard training all the time this is also the other other extreme that some people do only hard training heavy lifting perhaps for a while in uh, also neglecting the, the troubles that have started to arise over the years but so Going back to this, uh, just saying that the 220 was the best year because of all these things, improving uh, the pain in the body, being able to do more with the body and this and understanding the importance, realizing the importance. This was one of the biggest things that I think he got from this year uh, was the understanding of the importance of taking care of your body, understanding the importance of movement altogether, because this is, as I said, not everyone knows really how to value this. And being able to value the importance is one of the most important things in staying consistent. And without staying consistent, you're not going to get the results. So many people, New Year comes, you make the promises, you have your goals, you go after them, and after a while, you just you lose the you lose the sight of the goal. You perhaps you don't have a strong enough idea of the benefits, a strong enough motivation. So, so a lot of the times, this is why a pain can be a blessing because it's such a big motivation to get rid of that. If you've ever had a really nasty thing aching somewhere in your body, you know you want to get rid of that very, very badly. And if you have gotten rid of it, then you know how big of a difference it can make in your being because something's not bothering you all the time, perhaps, or most of the time. You can go out to the sports you want to do. <clears throat> play with your kids, whatever, go to a hike, do, you can do the activities that you want to do when you have a body that doesn't hold you back, a body that supports you, uh, a body that doesn't only hold you back, but that supports you under these hard times, hard times that are hard for you physically or mentally, stressful times with all this lockdown and whatever is going on there, financial troubles, in all of this time, having a strong body will help you go through this. I feel like even personally for me, like I, I couldn't, I couldn't have keep up with the with the rhythm with the schedule that we had during the past years if it weren't for the training to keep me like mental, even just mentally sane, uh, to be able to rely on this sort of apparatus from where everything comes from, and this has been basically priceless, and I can very very easily understand why this could be the reason why someone had a great year just because they improved their body. Because as I explained, it, not only is it a goal in itself to be healthier, to feel better in your body, to be stronger, to be able to do more, but it also is that sort of thing that can allow other areas in your life change as well. This I feel uh, very, very strongly about. And for us, uh, we have some ways that you can really get very easily started. We have the mobility class that I've been I can highly, highly recommend because this is a class is, first of all, it's completely free. So it's very, very easy to join it. And it's not only uh, that I give you exercises there on a paper or something that you, you know, you repeat them, but it also has so like a very, very deep 
sort of lesson, I'm explaining everything, I'm explaining the principles. This also comes down to that staying consistent because I want that you understand what you're actually doing in this class and I want that you understand uh, how to do these exercises. This can also give you much, much better chance to stay accountable yourself when you are increasing the body awareness. A lot of that also for me, the motivation is always has, has come from that body awareness. I can feel a lot of like what is going on in my body and I respond to that. And this is why I also train and I move because I respond to the things that come from my body. And this can be uh, simply ask me to move, ask me to breathe, ask me to do this or that, move around. And in this class, you know, I show the exercise you can do, the routines, but I also explain how to do these exercises in a very detailed manner, sort of internal approach to developing mobility in your body, to open up your body, to fix pains and aches uh, with this. And it's also, you know, it's uh, like a six exercises there, which is of course not all the exercises that are, that are out there, but when you have a good methodology and you understand how to do the training, even a few exercises are good. And these are some of my favorite exercises there. So this, uh, as I said, 100% free class, a day of mobility. And you can find it from a dayofmobility.com. You can sign up for the class. And after that, you will get the whole routine and everything. So you can start to uh, take care of your body in a better manner. Another thing that I think is really great for the start of the year is the Warrior Twin XX. And we also have a free trial for this program. And I liked it because it's our follow along, our training program that's in a follow along format. So this also is something that I think can help a lot of people to stay longer into training. And it's basically like seeing the example of how to push themselves. This is also the big benefit from this because I'm doing this program on YouTube. I'm doing all the exercises, every single rest period and intense training period there. I'm kind of like training with you and giving you advice and pushing you forward. Sometimes perhaps people yelling you. So this, I think, is a really great motivation to get started on a year in a very, very fired up, fired up manner with these high intensity routines of the Warrior Twin XX. And the free trial is also a great, really, really good way to get started. And I think like uh, just other material that can really help you uh, with training and, and understanding how the importance also, as I was talking about, understanding the importance of taking care of yourself is the articles that we have. We have hundreds of articles on our website, bobfitness.com. So getting a deeper idea also behind our training methods. Why do, why are we doing certain things that we do? And getting just a more in-depth and detailed also uh, approach compared to the videos that you see in this channel. Every time we have a video here, we also write an article there. So this will give you a much, usually wider, a more profound idea of the training that we, have, we are doing. And I think this is also very important for many people to finally get the realization of the full capacity of your body and the really the importance of taking care of it in the long term uh, as well. So free, a day of mobility class, a free trial for Warrior X, all these hundreds of free articles, free videos that we have on this channel to really give you a great start or something to really follow and stay consistent during this uh, in the start of the year and I think also in the long term as well during this whole year. This the, I mean, of course, we have many, many programs also for many different needs and different goals, different personalities out at the moment. And this is also something that you can check out if you're interested. But I do think that these free options are amazing to really get started uh, with, the, with the easiest possible way, especially the A Day of Mobility class really from probably for the first time ever starting to learn these methods, mobility methods that we are using. The challenges are going to be there, to, whether it's 2020, it's 2021 or whatever, whichever year it is, there's going to be some adversities that are going to be in your way. Uh, but we always have that ability to choose which sort of way we go from there. We have that sort of like a crossroad or a fork. And the other way, you know, Perhaps you think it's the one where you're more like depressed, you, you start to feel sorry, you think that you can't, you don't have any chance to control anything. And of course you need to accept the things that you can't control, which is this big situation here. You know, what is ever gonna happen is gonna happen with the lockdowns, whatever restrictions that we have. But you have also the other road where you can choose to control the things that you can control in life. This starting from your body, the shape of it, the health of it, the health of it, your diet your posture, your breathing, your exercising, these all things that you can have an effect on and can, this can have a, a massive effect 
on the rest of your life. So this is why I say stay strong guys. And this is what I'm definitely going to be doing also this year. I feel like just need to keep strong, keep going what, I'm, what we have been doing uh, already for years, even 2020. There was multiple times we could have just thought, well, it's too risky, we, you know, you shouldn't do that, shouldn't do that. But we, start, we decided to focus 100% on what, we, what was the mission that we had. Learn, train, complete the mission, make the programs, share the training to other people. This is what we wanted to do. It's like really, you know, all the challenges and also the things that we have gone through, it's just much easier to go, go to those challenges when I know that you guys are backing us up. You're actually following what we do, you're subscribed to the channels, uh, you're commenting here, you are getting into our training programs. And this is all invaluable support and I'm very, very thankful about, uh, about to each and every one of you. So I really want to thank every one of you and I now I wish you a very happy new year and hope you get started in a very, very strong manner. So take care guys and as always, stay strong.